In our Old Testament reading today, the Israelite people found themselves being chased down by the Egyptian army, who was determined to destroy them. They feared for their lives as they watched the clouds of dust cast up by the Egyptian army growing into a storm on the horizon. The people found themselves trapped by the sea in danger. As time passed, the danger grew greater and greater, but God was with them. And with a miracle, the sea was dried up for a moment. The people passed safely, leaving their enemies to deal with the wrath of God. God's people were saved because God was with them and never left their side. God answered their prayers when they saw no way that help could come. Their fear one day, the next, became a song of praise. I think we all learned recently what it felt like for the Israelites as they were being chased down by a force that was coming to destroy them. As Hurricane Irma barreled down on Tampa Bay, we watched the news, looking over our shoulders at the imminent danger and destruction that was coming. Irma, the largest hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic, was coming directly for us. Like the Israelites, we couldn't outrun it. We had nowhere to turn except to the Lord for help. We, too, needed a miracle. Over this journey, fear engulfed many of us. We planned and prayed, but the storm kept chasing after us as time passed, coming closer and closer. For many of us, we were completely left in the dark as the storm intensified. We put our heads down on our pillows, praying that God would do something to keep us safe. As we lay there, we ran over again and again in our heads the things we had done to prepare for the storm. But there was only so much we could do to get ready. Only so many calls we could make. Only so many precautions that we could think of. And when all of our preparations were done, we were still in need. We still needed God to do something. We needed a miracle. Irma chased us, and with nothing left to do, we prayed to the Lord, Save us, Lord Jesus. And the Lord fought for us. Irma was chasing after us, drowning herself out. Her power in a miracle was stripped from her as she set her eye on us. Her eye was put out, and her arms were weakened. Irma did not come out intact on the other side, but we did. We got the miracle we prayed for as that storm wobbled and disintegrated faster than any meteorologist had predicted. The angel of the Lord came between us and the forces that were chasing us down. And in no less than a miracle, we survived with so little damage done. Now, it isn't too often that we get to see in our own community something that happened in the Bible, but this past week we did. As the troubles appeared on the horizon, as the storm approached, the bands reaching out and already hitting us, God's hand reached over us to save us. Like with the Israelites, the Lord even drove back the sea and the bay by a strong east wind and turned it into dry land, a sight that I don't think any of us had ever seen before, and truly a miracle that it didn't all rush back in like they thought it would, destroying everything in the evacuation zones. It is quite evident to me that God was fighting for us. It is quite evident to me, too, that we were fighting for each other. We were with each other in Jesus' name, and he was with us. 
I think we probably all experienced the coming together of our community in ways that we haven't seen in a long time. I saw people reach out and get to know each other. I know neighbors now that I never knew before, and I'll bet that you do too. Together, we saw troubles that we never wanted to see coming for us. But so too, we saw the inbreaking of the kingdom of God amidst this storm. We saw that the troubles of this world, whether they be Egyptian armies or massive hurricanes, just won't stop the kingdom from coming, no matter how strong these worldly forces are. Even during the worst experiences we could dream of, we saw that the kingdom of God is here, and maybe even more now. We experienced no less than a miracle this last week, with Irma doing less damage than any of us thought she would do. But I think we also saw a miracle in the community coming together in the ways that Christ comes to us, with unconditional love, reaching out to those who were in need no matter who they were, simply because we could help. And I think, too, that we will continue to see miracles unfold over the next few weeks as we continue to clean up and help people get back to their normal lives. But my hope, though, is that we don't completely get back to what we once understood as normal. I hope that we don't go back to not talking with people we don't already know. I hope that we are all a little more aware that we all need each other. And I hope that we remember that God came to our rescue when our preparations weren't enough to bring us the feeling of security that we all needed the night before the storm. I hope that Hurricane Irma does change us and that we don't go back to our comfortable ways of life. When the Israelites learned of their salvation from the deadly storm that had been chasing them down, when they learned of the miracle of God's hand safely protecting them and destroying their enemy, they showed their appreciation by gathering together with worship and praise. They sang a song to God, thanking God for the miracle that they had experienced. And that too is what we are here today to do. Whether we got out perfectly or not, we are here and we are together and we are going to make sure that each of us feels that God is with them. We are a community brought together with tragedy and a community that knows what salvation feels like by the hand of God. As Irma approached, we had nowhere to turn except to the Lord for help. We prayed and heard God heard our prayers. We are witnesses to the largest recorded hurricane in the Atlantic barreling down on us. And we too are witnesses to the miracle that God gave us in God's safe harbor from the storm. We woke to another glorious day with the storm gone ready to face the world anew with new strength and faith that God is indeed with us. And there is no doubt of that today. Let your hearts be lifted like the Israelites with joy as we remember that with Jesus Christ, we can be sure that God is always with us. He rests in our hearts. In him, we are the new temple in which God lives. 
God has brought us to the other side and left our enemies behind. For we ourselves have seen a miracle and felt God's hands wrapped around us like a mother hen's wings. For we ourselves have been blessed by God and our tears and fears have been changed into songs of praise and thanksgiving and worship today. Please pray with me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing our prayers and keeping us safe from Hurricane Irma. Be with those who have lost loved ones in the recent storms and help us to help rebuild the communities that were damaged. We turn to you before and after the storm. We still put our trust in you, knowing better than ever that you are surely with us. May one day soon, all of our fears be destroyed and our voices lifted in unison with praise of you and your wonderful works. Amen.